Hello everyone and welcome and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of May 2nd through the 8th of 2023. And I would also like to take this time to give special thanks to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. It does help it grow as well as those who have watched my videos and give them a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you for doing that. All right. So you're starting off with the four of pentacles. You know, fear, fearing um, a little bit of a lack this week, like not enough funds, worried about your finances in the future. So you're maybe getting invites from different people to go and do things, that sort of thing. But you're holding back because you don't want to overspend and feel like you, you know, won't have enough in the future. So, and the five of swords. So there you are. Finally winning the battle, stepping forward, moving, you know, on to a new endeavors in your life. You know, maybe there's, you've been surrounded by people who doesn't tell the truth and you've had to you know, been bullied and pushed around, but this is the week that, you know, you get your power back. You finally get to say your piece and you come on out, you come out on the winning end. So that's beautiful. You know, somebody who's done you wrong or been mean to you for a long time, you know, you know at all costs, no matter what to you, is now about to get their own. And the Tear of Pentacles. So there you are, walking on eggshells, trying to keep the whole world happy. You know, trying to make sure you keep peace in all areas of your life, but still trying to be a little bit playful. You know, you're almost um, paralyzing yourself in, in your movements by not wanting to upset anybody. But you're realizing that that has served you no purpose in the past. So you're learning to not drop the pentacles, but you're learning to put them down. And the six of rods. So there you are, standing your ground, you know, telling people, you know, if you had to go through what I had to go through, you know, that sort of thing. And, and make them realize of all that, you know, not that you owe them that but you're tired of their uh, look at you as negative and you want them to be positive. So you're, you know, telling a few people, well, that's not really how this was sort of thing. So you're making them realize what you bring to the table. And the Empress, well, there you are. Abundant, successful, moving forward. You know, your health is returning. There's wealth here as well. You know, and there's, for others of you, this could be, you know, a fertile time. There could be a baby in the mix as well. So if you're not wanting to have a baby or your other half is not expecting yet or yourself, take precautions. Uh, this could be a um, fur baby in the mix as well. New projects getting off the ground finally. You're starting to feel, you know, that you can see headway in the future. You know, things are moving on a more upswing for you you're quite satisfied and you're going on your way in life finally you know you're realizing that all those seeds that you've planted many times in different areas you're getting rewards for them you know you're starting to um, forgive others and forgive yourself and move yourself forward you've held yourself in limbo for quite some time and the tower so most definitely now this could have been in the past as well you had that sort of slight flash of insight of what was actually going to happen and what was going to go on and sure and behold there it came you know and that could be in friendships relationships finances in some cases but you know you're, you're learning how to fix that for yourself now because you can see uh, where the foundation isn't solid so this is your wake-up call and you're going to, you know, 
fix it, clean house, deal with your, your different matters in your life so that you can start on a new solid foundation. And the Ten of Swords. So definitely there was a betrayal here. You put a lot of time and effort into something. You know, you're moving forward. You're seeing that, you know, all that you put effort into what it's gotten you in the long run. So, you know, somebody's spilled the beans, something that you've put in confidence, something, you know, something along those lines. And you're realizing that, you know, that was unnecessary roughness. So you're, you know, with the Ten of Swords there, you're just sort of looking out going, wow, that was uh, definitely unnecessary. So it was painful, but you've come to the conclusion now that you're shutting doors behind you as you go. You're no longer, you know, leaving the door open part way so that, you know, maybe if you're you're learning that that served you no no purpose and this can be in relationships as well as jobs and stuff as well as friends so you know things were unfair the way they treated you the way they um talked about you that sort of thing and this is the week that you're going to say okay i can deal with this and you're going to you know shut the door because they can't say they're sorry they can't take the wording back they can't fix any of this it's done it's dead there's no recouping or all the forgiveness in the world won't fix it it'll always be there so you're learning to just let it go and the king of swords there you are you know you're flooded with absolutely new ideas and possibilities you know you're attacking any kind of problems that's coming up you're dealing with them you know right away you're no longer waiting to you know clear things up you're taking situations and in your own hands and and dealing with stuff you know and you're making sure that if you've done something in the past that you know you're not getting the recognition for you're going to say that too to others that you're you know i'm the one who's done this sort of thing and and that's good and it's in its own interiority because it helps people to realize you know, you're not just sitting on your lulls. And the devil. So there you are. You're realizing what's held you back for a long time. Sometimes we paint ourselves in a corner by thinking, you know, this is the way I was raised, so maybe I need to do it that way. And, you know, that's kind of old-fashioned now. So you're taking a whole new perspective on something and you're, you know, putting up boundaries for what clear boundaries on what people's going to be able to say, do, or talk about even around you. Because, you know, you're not taking any prisoners. You're setting yourself free because you have a vision in the future. And now that you've learned to cut those ties and step forward, you're going to keep with that momentum. Just keep going and going. Ah, and there you are with the Six of Swords. So most definitely you're tired of, you know, going against the current getting no rewards or anything recognition nothing no you know for all the efforts and stuff that you put in for uh things you know and this can be in your job as well as relationships and you're thinking of literally just moving on to better horizons maybe a different company has offered you you know more money if this is a job and you're thinking you know what why not what am i waiting on and you know you're going to literally move stock you know all everything your whole life you're going to uproot it and move to a calmer better shores and the two of swords so there you are you know all those thoughts going through your head and what was holding you back and not making you know any decisions this is the week that you're going to make those decisions there you are five of cups so spending that time you know looking back making sure that you know you're not missing anything before you step into the future and the eight of cups so most definitely you've learned all the energies that you put into different things what the rewards were and you know if this is a relationship you know family tie job whatever it is and you're not being you know returned in appreciation as well as money 
you're going to cut it loose and move on to better shores because you know it's time to do something new for you. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an Angel Oracle card. But your cards are very positive. You know, you're getting those aha moments. You're standing your ground. You know, if there's something that you want to finish up, you're going to finish it up. And it also looks like you're going to be making a move here as well. All right. <laughs> Take action. You're in touch with your truth in these situations. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assist yourself. Well, there you are. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.